And there you have it. Copy of the Buffalo Bill case file. Copy of the senator's offer. This offer is non-negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center. Sounds charming. It's only part of the island. There's very, very nice beach. Terns nest there. There's beautiful... Terns? Hmm. If I help you, Clarice, it will be terns with us, too. Quid pro quo. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though. About yourself. Quid pro quo. Yes or no? Yes or no, Clarice? Poor little Catherine is waiting. Go, Doctor. What is your worst memory of childhood? Death of my father. Tell me about it and don't lie or I'll know. He was a town marshal and one night he surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. Was he killed outright? No, he was very strong. He lasted more than a month. My mother died when I was very young, so... My father had become the whole world to me, and uh, when he left me, I had nothing. I was ten years old. You're very frank, Clarice. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. Quid pro quo, Doctor. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Yes. Big through the hips, Romy? They all were. What else? She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Now, that hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Is it a butterfly? Yes, a moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth is change. Caterpillar into chrysalis or pupa. And from thence into beauty. Our belly wants to change too. There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Clever girl. You're so close to the way you're gonna catch him. Do you realize that? No, tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? I don't imagine the answer is on those second-rate shoes, Clarice. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. They had a ranch. Was it a cattle ranch? Sheep and horses. How long did you live there? Two months. Why so briefly? I ran away. Why, Clarice? Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? No. He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. He's tried to be a lot of things, I expect. Now, you said that I was very close to the way we would catch him. What did you mean, doctor? There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. Johns Hopkins, University of Minnesota and Columbus Medical Center. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment at one or all of them and been rejected. On what basis would they reject him? Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. Billy hates his own identity, you see that makes him a transsexual but his pathology is a thousand times more savage and more terrifying
There never was a deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. I designed it. Of course, I worked in a few conditions for my own benefit as well. I identified Buffalo Bill by name. And if the girl is found in time, Senator Martin will have you transferred to Brushy Mountain State Prison in Tennessee. Answer me, Hannibal. You answer me now, or by God, you'll never leave this cell. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis. I told the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. And I have a few conditions on my own. Welcome to Memphis, Dr. Lecter. I'm Lieutenant Boyle. This is Sergeant Patrick. Now, we're going to treat you as good as you treat us. You be a gentleman, you're going to get three hots to cot. Sir, your sign right here will have us a legal transfer. Here, sir, use mine. Senator Martin, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Dr. Lecter, I brought an affidavit guaranteeing your new rights. You want to read it before I sign. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. Clarice Starling and that awful Jack Crawford have wasted far too much time already. I only pray they haven't doomed the poor girl. Let me help you now, and I will trust you when it is all over. You have my word, Paul. Buffalo Bill's real name is Lewis Friend. I met him just once. He was referred to me in April or May 1980 by my patient Benjamin Raspell. They were lovers, you see. But Raspell had become very frightened. Apparently, Lewis had murdered a transient and done things for the skin. We need his address and a physical description. Tell me, Senator, did you nurse Catherine yourself? What? Did you breastfeed her? Now, wait a minute. Yes, I did. Tottened your nipples, didn't it? Oh, son of a bitch. Amputate a man's leg and he can still feel it tickling. Tell me, Mom, when your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back to Baltimore. Five foot ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. That's all I can remember, Mom. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. 